In economics, your supply and demand graph always looks like this. You have demand downward sloping, supply upward sloping, and equilibrium where they meet. In economics, it is always quantity going along the bottom, the x-axis, and price going along the top, the y-axis. First question, what happens when supply increases? So remember, an increase always means you move to the right on the graph. That's just a rule of your demand and supply graph. Increase means move to the right. Decrease means move to the left. Don't think about moving up or down. Economics people decided a while ago that increase meant to the right, decrease to the left. So your old equilibrium was where the old lines met. If your supply increases, you move here, and your new equilibrium is right there. So we've gone from here to there. What did that do to the quantity? Well, quantity increased. It moved to the right there. So your equilibrium quantity increased. What about the price? Well, you had a downward movement, and that means your price went down. So when supply increases, equilibrium quantity increases, equilibrium price decreases. Question two, what happens when supply decreases? Well, starting demand and supply just looks like that. A decrease in supply means it moves to the left. So we've changed from an equilibrium here to an equilibrium there. So what did that do to quantity? Well, the equilibrium moved to the left, so that means quantity decreased. And what did that do to the price? Well, the price moved up, so the price increased. So a, a decrease in supply will cause a decrease in the equilibrium quantity and an increase in the equilibrium price. Problem three, what happens when demand increases? Graph always starts like this. And if demand increases, that means it moves to the right. Instead of this demand line, we get this newer demand line, D1. So we're equ the equilibrium moved from here to there. So the quantity went up. Moving to the right means the quantity has increased. The price moved up. So that is also an increase. When demand goes up, you have an increase in both quantity and price. Problem four, what happens when there is a decrease in demand? A decrease in demand will move this line to the left. So here is our new demand curve. So we've moved from equilibrium here to equilibrium there. How did that change the quantity? It made it move to the left. It decreased the quantity. Quantity has decreased. How did that change the price? Price has gone down, so the price has decreased. So when there is a decrease in demand, that will cause a decrease in both the quantity and the price. Problem five, what happens when there is an increase in supply and an increase in demand? Well, you always want to draw your graph to find out. And you always start with the plain old X shape like that. So let's see, an increase in supply is going to move supply to the right. An increase in demand is going to move demand to the right. So we've gone from this equilibrium right here to that equilibrium right there. Now when you have two changes, a change in supply and a change in demand, you only know one thing for sure. What we know for sure is that that definitely went to the right. Our quantity has increased. Our price, on the other hand, Depending on how big those increases are, my price, it could be up there, or it could be down there. The price really could have done anything. The price, we don't know what it did. And that's because an increase in demand usually increases the price. An increase in supply usually decreases the price. So when we just have both of them, we don't know what happened to the price. We know what happened to the quantity, but we don't know what happened to the price. And the official word for that, that some professors are going to look for, is indeterminate. cannot determine what happened to the price from just that information. Problem six, what happens when supply decreases and demand increases? 
well, a decrease in supply, that means you move to the left. And then an increase in demand, that means the demand line shifts to the right. So we've gone from this equilibrium to that equilibrium. When we have two movements, we only know one thing, and that's overall we went upward. Our price has increased, and we don't quite know what the quantity did, because the way I drew it, it looks like the quantity went to the right, but if I'd drawn an even bigger supply movement, then my quantity would have gone to the left. That's what indeterminate means, is it just depends on the size of the change. So we don't really know what the quantity did, but we know that the price has to go up. That's the only thing that we know from that one. Price increases, quantity is indeterminate. Number seven, what happens when supply increases and demand decreases? Well, we draw our demand and supply chart like that. Our supply increases, that means it moves to the right. New supply line. The demand decreases, it moves to the left. And overall, we have gone from this equilibrium here to that equilibrium there. Overall, that's mostly a downward movement. That's mostly a change in price. Price has decreased, and quantity is indeterminate. Problem number eight, what happens when supply decreases and demand also decreases? Like all these problems, we start by making our demand supply chart. Demand, supply, quantity, price. And a decrease in supply is a movement to the left. A decrease in demand is a movement to the left. And we've gone from this equilibrium to that equilibrium. That's a leftward movement. That's the quantity going down. The quantity has decreased. The price we can't be sure about. That's going to depend on exactly how big those movements in supply and demand are. So when supply decreases and demand decreases, your quantity goes down and you don't know what happens to the price.